Um, I guess what happened at that point when I came to Chicago in 67, that uh, there really wasn't anybody here that was, that was doing theater. And it was an opportunity to move in and fill a vacuum where there was, I thought, some need for thinking about that. I thought it'd be very good for Chicago to think a little less theoretically all the time and try to get to more involved in the practical arts. That's all, of course, now flourished. I mean, it's so exciting to been here from that slow start at that time to uh, the, the building being, uh, the Logan going up across the Midway and everything now that is going on in terms of a, that wonderful building to have all the arts contributing to each together in the same building. It was a brilliant, inspired idea and it's worked out really quite wonderfully. So, um, so increasingly my scholarship just turned out to be something I wanted to do, think about how acting styles, about um, acting gestures, the way people prepared to be theatrical people and so on, how that would have helped Shakespeare create the environment in which he wrote these fantastic plays that he wrote. Shakespeare was very much a theater man. I mean, he was a member of the company, he acted, uh, he was with the people for whom he wrote these plays, he knew them personally and individually, just fantastic. Tapsburg, the Theater and Performance Studies, really arose out of that because it arose out of that. What we really want to do is have a crossover between the practical and the uh, theoretical, right? There are too many universities uh, where uh, English departments and drama departments just don't speak to each other, and, uh, and, the, and a great deal of hostility. It's true at Cornell, for example. The theater department just lives by itself. They wouldn't deign to talk to anybody in the English department there. And that was kind of true here in a way. Um, so, but one should learn how those really feed on each other, and, and, uh, and uh, I think that's what TAPS is all about now, and, and the people are coming here because they sense that excitement that one can really do that. It's not a theater major in the same way it would be if you went to Northwestern, which is a great place, but that's more a conservatory, and we're, we try to surround the pragmatics of theater with a fascination with reading history and with thinking you know, theoretically about how drama works and so on, get the whole show He's talking to each other in those wonderful ways. Frank Kinahan, for whom the Kinahan Theater is now named, was one of the few people, uh, he was also in the English department, and we very much supported the idea that we should do help the students who were producing things, but they were producing things, this is in the 70s and 80s, without any support at all. There was no budget. Uh, it's a wonder nobody got electrocuted because they didn't have a tech person supervising the work they were doing backstage. <laughs> uh, there was no Heidi Coleman here. There was, you know, uh, it was student run, but it was it was dangerous. <laughs> um, and uh, John Boyer certainly deserves an immense amount of credit for seeing that, there was, that what he could do would be to provide some funding for that. And I, I went around to the deans and said, well, I've um, I'd like to start a program. They said, well, we don't want to do that yet. <laughs> the, the, this place is still very cautious about, about, about that. But if you wanted to do this under, under interdisciplinary studies, that would be fine. So I ran a program that way and then went back to the deans. This is along the, in the late 80s now, I think, and said, look, it's going very well. The, the, the students are loving it. Um, we'd like to apply to be a committee in, in uh, Theater and Performance Studies, that was the title we, we came up with at that time, and basically in the 90s now. And the deans were very happy, and so was the college. It went right through at this point. But the temper, the, the temper of things is changing at the University of Chicago at that time in a very, very uh, creative way. The, of course, the people in admissions were just deliriously happy. To have, we finally had a theater major and so on, and it, uh, people started applying in great numbers. And uh, we get some people from that, we get people from University theater, some of whom are in TAPS and some are not. A lot of people are not, you know, it's a nice thing about that. That's wonderfully cross-disciplinary with people in, in the UT program who are in bio biochemistry and math and whatnot, and, and that, that's the way it should be. So, um, so there's been that nice collaboration with, with that long tradition. The reason the program is genuinely unique, to hold on to the notion that the students could and indeed do still get to make all the choices. The students come up with ideas about putting on plays that don't, don't get done elsewhere. Um, and, but the learning experience, that's, it's a strikingly different, wonderful way from Northwestern, where in Northwestern they have this staff of people like Frank Galati and so on, internationally known, real, and a wonderful guy. Uh, but up there, they, those, the faculty, tend to uh, direct the plays, and the, the students have to wait a bit or become assistant director. Even the graduate students have to wait to be 
wait in line to be able to, to help out with that and so on. And it's sort of top down. And our program is anything but that. And it, God bless her, Heidi Coleman has always been of that same persuasion. I mean, she's terrifically talented and she knows, she does go in and talk to people about every production, about what, how it could be shaped up in some ways. But the original move, move of what play they would put on and where is to be tuned and staged and who's to be involved and so on, what, how's the casting going to go, that's all decisions that are made without uh, her intervention or mine. And um, the students learn by having their own experience with doing these things. But I don't know any other place in the world, the world really, that where it's qu you get quite that kind of uh, creative, uh, creative anarchy, if you like. <laughs> Thank you.